Despite being the third dinosaur genus ever named and part of the original definition of dinosaurs, Hyliosaurus armatus is far less recognized today compared to Iguanodon or Megalosaurus. Discovered in southeast England in the early 1830 years as a partial skeleton, Hyliosaurus was the first ankylosaur ever found. Its large bony spikes were quickly identified as defensive armor, initially believed to form a single vertical row along its back and tail. The Victorian Crystal Palace statue of Hyliosaurus is surprisingly accurate for such an early reconstruction of an ankylosaur. It portrays a slow, lizard-like quadruped with hoof-like claws, heavily armored skin, long spines along its back, and smaller bony nodules over its head and sides. Though less dynamic than Iguanodon or Megalosaurus, the figure provided a decent interpretation of what would later be recognized as an ankylosaur. As more complete armored dinosaur fossils were discovered, paleontologists gained a better understanding of ankylosaurs. Hyliosaurus was eventually recognized as having multiple rows of spikes, not just one. However, reconstructions remained scarce, with most based on an 1869 image showing it as a fat, sprawling, pinecone-like creature covered in spikes. Hyliosaurus has remained somewhat obscure due to its fragmentary remains, but it has gained renewed attention in recent years. In 2020, the genus was re-scribed, and it even appeared on a special edition British 50 coin. Estimated to be around 4 meters long, Hyliosaurus lived in southeast England 140 to 136 million years ago and possibly ranged across parts of Europe, with fragmentary remains found in Germany, France, Spain, and Romania. Generally classified as an early notosaurid, most of what we know about its appearance comes from better preserved ankylosaur relatives like Borealopelta and Zoll. It likely had a low triangular head with a toothless beak at the front, leaf-shaped teeth further back, and short horns behind its eyes. Rows of spiked osteoderm armor covered its body, with longer curving spines over its shoulders. These spikes were sheathed in thick keratin, making them appear even larger in life. Smaller bony nodules filled the gaps between the spikes, forming a protective shield over its back. Its short, powerful limbs ended in hoof-like claws, and unlike its ankylosaurid cousins, it likely lacked a tail club. Based on recent findings from Borealopelta, we even know a little about its potential coloration. Some ankylosaurs were reddish with a countershad camouflage pattern, darker on top and lighter on the underside. <laughs>